Currently the vessel that is just behind me is the fifth batch of the uh, incoming RTGs for our terminal upgrade project. There are four RTGs on the vessel, basically make a total on 18 RTGs. This is important, we are just handed over new stacking area for the uh, operational department of WACT. Therefore they of course need to have equipment and while we are going from a reach stacker operation to a fully new uh, high-end RTU operation is that we need RTGs to handle equipment. This as well to increase the uh, capacity of our terminal and basically to have a more safe and, and standard work operation uh, in the near future. So currently we have 14 RTGs in the terminal, 12 are in operations and two are always on standby. But with the four behind me, it brings us to 18. At the moment we are about 50% uh, utilization of RTGs in the yard. These RTGs, once commissioned and put into operations, we have about 80% of our yard covering RTG. This means the cargo is going to get to the market quicker. The turnaround time for the trucks is going to improve because these RTGs are pretty much efficient and they're at the top of the line instead of the ad equipment. So we're excited to have it and we can't wait to have it into operations. Uh, the rich tucker has been working before the RTG came, but um, this is a place where we have more customers and in terms of operations, we are mindful of our moves. And um, we are mindful of the fact that um, we need to make moves at every interval and things have to be fast. For operation to be fast doesn't really depend on just the operator, but also on the equipment you are using. So we have um, roads that consist of um, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Fedra and Golf. And in all these roads, uh, units are situated. You never can tell where um, the customer's unit is situated. The major difference uh, between the risk taker here and the RTG is that for risk taker, if maybe you have a unit you want to pick, and any of the blocks and the unit is situated at um, maybe alpha charlie.1 for the risk taker before you bring that to that unit you will have to rehandle like maybe 14 or 16 units to get to just that unit to pick it you can imagine the time frame that the risk taker needs to bring that just that unit times how many units you have to deliver a day but for the rotg you just have to pick just four or five units to get to that unit so the first win of all this equipment that we're investing in is the customer. There's a risk for the cargo to get to the market. So in East Nigeria, if you are using watts as a facility, that means the cargo turnaround time has improved behind all of the investments that we've had. So going forward, uh, customers that are bringing a cargo through watts, if, if they're trying to get it to the market, if they're trying to get it on the shelf, this is the place to come.